Tonight, Memphis prepares for new information and developments expected Monday in the Tyree Nichols death investigation. The 29 year old died earlier this month, days after an arrest by several now fired Memphis police officers sent him to the hospital in critical condition. Stefan Reels joins us live in the studio with where things stand now. Stefan. Well, Brad, we're expecting many new details will unfold over the coming days. That includes Tyree Nichols's family, who will get a look at what really went down the night of his arrest. Since January 7th, this story has drawn national and international attention and sparked three separate investigations. But among the investigations, demonstrations, and tears, one thing remains clear. The cry for justice from Nichols's family and friends. January 7th, Memphis police said they attempted a traffic stop of Tyree Nichols for reckless driving around Reigns and Ross Road. MPD said there were two confrontations and Nichols also ran from officers before they arrested the 29-year-old. MPD also said after being arrested, Nichols complained of shortness of breath and paramedics took him to St. Francis Hospital in critical condition. In this picture shown from Nichols' hospital bed, his family said he was almost unrecognizable. I've been in the streets, not my brother. At the end of the day, my brother did not deserve this. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy requested the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation launch an independent use of force investigation. While MPD had relieved Nichols responding officers of duty, Nichols died in the hospital Tuesday, January 10th. Demonstrations followed in the days after, including the Saturday before last outside MPD's Ridgeway Station. That followed other gatherings this past Monday inside and outside Memphis City Hall and a march and an emotional rally outside the National Civil Rights Museum. The anguish that this has caused my family. Our lives will never be the same again. And we just want justice for my baby brother. He did not deserve this. Nichols' family and friends demanded MPD release video footage of January 7th and for those same MPD officers to be charged with first-degree murder. The firm of well-known attorney Ben Crump also announced they're representing Nichols' family. A week after his death, loved ones held a memorial service for Nichols. Attendees included friends, family, local activists who continued their call for justice in the 29-year-old's death. We have a problem with policing, yeah. unjust policing. And God allowed one of the most beautiful human beings to be used as a vessel of change. This past Wednesday, the Department of Justice and the FBI announced they'd launch a federal civil rights investigation. This past Friday, Tyree Nichols' family received one of their wishes when MPD released the names of five officers involved and said they'd been fired from the department. And that brings us to now. On Monday, Tyree Nichols' family and attorneys are expected to meet with MPD to view the relevant video footage of his arrest in the morning and also hold a news conference in the afternoon. Then on Tuesday, Nichols' family and their attorneys are scheduled to release its own autopsy findings from the incident. Brad? Thanks, Stefan. The Nichols family attorney, Ben Crump, was on Good Morning America this past weekend to address the ongoing case. What it tells us is that it's not whether the police were black and white, how they engage the person who's been brutalized. It seems to be whether the victim is black or white, how the police is going to engage that citizen, whether it's a black police officer or a white police officer. And while we wait for the results of the DOJ and TBI investigations, there's still plenty of information we're still waiting to learn. For example, Memphis police hasn't given any specific details about the actual arrest or what led to Tyree Nichols needing hospital care before he died. Nor has MPD said if any additional officers might be disciplined. Video footage of the MPD officers arresting Nichols also hasn't been made public. Those who've seen it say it's hard to watch. And we're still waiting to find out any results from those two other investigations we mentioned that are now underway by the TBI and DOJ. What we do know is we'll be following any and all developments in this story closely for you on air, online, and on our ABC 24 app.